Welcome back to the Butler Beat. I'm Shelby Sebring. Many, many Butler students were heavily involved in helping the city of Indianapolis put on this year's Super Bowl. Joining me today is one of the people who coordinated all of that student help. John Brewer is a recor er, recruiting coordinator at Staff Board. Also with us is Bree Siever, who is a junior at Butler and one of the students who worked with some of the Super Bowl events. All right, guys, how are you guys doing today? Good, Good. how are you? Good. So, John, um, when did Staff Board start hiring people for the Super Bowl? Well, we actually uh, put the bid for the uh, contract out probably late August, early September. Um, we got the results of that bid in early October, saying that we had won. And from there, we immediately started the process of um, going out and recruiting and acquiring um, necessary help for the Super Bowl in about mid to late October. Okay, and how many people did Staff Board hire for the Super Bowl? Um, our client, Game Day Management, who's actually the direct staffing for NFL Transportation, they required about 11 to 1,200 uh, temporary employees that range anything from parking attendants to shuttle assistants to um, transportation operations and stuff like that. And we were originally slated to staff about half of that, so about 600 or so. Um, but as time went on and we needed to backfill and add more positions, uh, as you probably saw, the Super Bowl was a little bit better than we expected. Um, we ended up filling about probably close to 800 or so positions. Wow. Um, what process did people have to go through to get a job through game day management? Um, it's, it's a two-step process. We broke it down into two levels of employees that we were looking for. Some of the higher level admin positions, which would be including dealing with teams, team families, um, corporate sponsors, as well as some of the higher end bus um, operations positions. That required um, an initial face-to-face -face interview with us, uh, staff board, and then we pushed those on to a second interview with uh, our client, Game Day Management, who made the final selection and where people would be placed in, what's, in what department. Very nice. Um, you actually ended up working for the Super Bowl, didn't you? Yeah, I ended up uh, picking, one, picking myself as one of the positions. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to help out a little bit, and um, I ended up working with uh, the NFC team, so the New York Giants and their team families. So what did you do with them? Like, what did your job entail? Um, it was the New York Giants were based out of the Marriott downtown, and their families were either at the, also at the Marriott or at the Marriott East on Shadeland or Embassy Suites up north in, uh, on 86 in Michigan. And so my job was to coordinate and uh, help move the buses smoothly to transport those uh, players and team families from um, between hotels and to different excursions like the Children's Museum and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and stuff like that. Okay, did you also have people who worked for the AFC, the Patriots team? Yes, there was, a, there was actually a larger coordination with the, um, the Patriots. There was, pro there was what, three of us, I believe, for the Giants, I think six for the uh, Patriots team family. So they definitely brought a larger crowd. How many hours did you work throughout like Super Bowl week? What, like, what all did you do with that? Um, I just got my timesheet for uh, the week before the Super Bowl ending Friday and that was about 67 hours. And I think I'm about to ramp up to about 80 for this week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so um, before the Super Bowl, I assumed that Staff Board was crazy, like trying to coordinate everything. Like what part of that did you have? Um, I, was, I had a hand in pretty much everything from the initial recruitment phase of going out and reaching out to the community and um, various, Butler University was one of them, as well as different Greek organizations at uh, Butler, IUPUI, Indiana University. Um, nonprofits around town as well um, to the selection interview phase all the way through placement and um, keeping in constant communication um, up and through payroll and even to, even to today doing payroll for the final uh, weekend. Wow, <laughs> sounds crazy. Now, yeah. Bree, you also worked for the Super Bowl. What did you do? Um, I worked for the NFL Honor Show, which is this annual like award show that they do for the players in the NFL, but this is the first time that they actually broadcast it on, on television. So. I worked as a red carpet production assistant, and to be quite honest, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do um, when I first heard that title, but um, I worked on Friday and Saturday of last week doing Super Bowl things, and basically what I did is I just helped assist the red carpet producer in whatever she needed, whatever could make her, her life run a little bit easier on that <laughs> crazy day. So one of the cool things that I got to do was as working on the red carpet, I was greeting and like giving tickets to all of the players, like coaches and like executives that were walking through. 
So I got to meet a lot of neat people that way. It was just a really cool experience. Did you get to meet like a lot of celebrities or anything? I mean, with my job, I definitely got to like interact with them. Like they were, they wanted me to be professional, so I couldn't be like starstruck yeah. and you know ask for autographs or anything. But I definitely did get to interact with a lot of cool people. So very nice. Mm -hmm. How did you find out about such? A wonderful opportunity. Um, well, just like they said, they reached out to Butler University. I think um, they reached out to the Creative Media and Entertainment Program here at Butler, and I got an email through the listserv just saying that they were looking for people to help. So I thought, what you know, I have nothing to lose. I might as well just email them and see if there's any like spots available. And luckily, I was able to get a spot, and it was just an amazing experience for me. Yeah, do you know a lot of other students who had the opportunity to work during the Super Bowl? Yeah, there were five of us total that were red carpet PAs and four of them were Butler students. Very and nice. one a recent graduate. So yeah, there was a lot of presence of Butler students there that day. What did they all do with you? Did you guys um, just like work together? Yeah, it was similar. They kind of divided us up and just kind of used us, but we were all on the red carpet doing similar things and very getting cool. to meet a lot of cool people and network. Very cool. Was it broadcasted then? Yeah, it was um, Broadcasted with an hour de like of an hour delay, so okay. we shot it and then it like aired an hour later. Very nice. Mm -hmm. um, now, John, with the game day management, what type of people did you guys like look to hire when you were going through the interview processes? Um, just because of the sheer volume of uh, individuals we were looking for, we had to cast a very wide net, and um, some of the positions were ranging from anywhere from a simple parking attendant. So there wasn't a huge uh, cutoff criteria or a high bar to set. It was just we needed someone who was hardworking was enthusiastic, could kind of make their own job fun. Because obviously, working outside in a parking lot, can it, be, is, it is what you make it. So if you want to have fun, you can. Um, but it can also be a very miserable experience. So we were looking for someone who was very enthusiastic, very hardworking, and someone who could be um, very honest and timely with their work schedule. For the higher level positions, we were looking for someone who had good people skills, who were going to work uh, very well with some higher end clients, as well as uh, just with the, p the public in general. Now, did you meet anyone very famous or anyone that you want to talk about? Um, I didn't get to meet personally anybody. Um, I did get to interact a little bit with Eli Manning since uh, he, one of the uh, teams are leaving and arriving back from practices off the bus to the Marriott downtown. So that was kind of cool. A little, yeah. little wave and a hello to Eli. But otherwise, it, um, I was pretty much too busy with the families to kind of get a whole lot of celebrity interaction. Yeah. <laughs> I assume there was like a lot of security around yeah, security, during that time. Yeah, security was very intense. Um, I know when the teams arrived to and from the hotel, they, they shut down the entire street between um, the Marriott and the parking lot across the street from it. And all traffic, both pedestrian and car traffic, is completely cut off. The entire hotel is pretty much on lockdown. And there's FBI, uh, TSA security. All around, the, all around the place. Oh my gosh. So what was your favorite part about working during the Super Bowl? Uh, I'd say that my favorite part was actually just interacting with the people from New York. Um, I think a lot of people, I think I had a stigma of them being kind of rude and obnoxious and the typical New York personality, but they were actually very genuinely um, happy with, about being in Indianapolis. They loved our city and they were really thankful for um, the work we were able to put for them. Where exactly were you located at your job site? I know you talked about a bunch of different places, but where did you actually work? It actually varied from day to day. Um, anywhere, any of the three hotels I could have been at and I was at um, during that weekend, as well as I did a stint at the Children's Museum when they were um, doing their, one of their excursions to the Children's Museum as well. Okay. Bree, how often did you work throughout the week? Did you have like a did you have like a bunch of um, jobs like leading up to this? Or um, actually, I didn't. Just Friday, I kind of went in that day, got a run through of what I'd be doing. They showed me the f like the studio at the, the Marah Theater is where we shot the okay. what, the NFL honors. And then Sunday, I worked from eleven in the morning till ten o'clock at night. Oh wow, mm -hmm. it was a long day. Oh my gosh, <laughs> but it didn't feel like work too much because it was a lot of fun. And what was your favorite part about working? You know. I think it was just interacting and meeting all these people. I mean, these people that I worked with were coming from New York and Los Angeles, and like it was just cool how they all work together and how many people come together to make it this show possible. And also interacting with all of those awesome, you know, NFL athletes. I'm a big fan, so it was really yeah. cool to see all those people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many people did you work with during that day? Like, um, I know a bunch of people were coming through. How many people did you get to? interact with there was think? like a team of like seven of us or eight of us that did kind of the red carpet but I got to meet a lot of other people elsewhere there was just people everywhere doing everything imaginable so yeah mm -hmm. how about you like what kind of activities like did you go to the, any of that of the activities I did go to the Children's Museum with the uh, Giants families and they had a blast <laughs> um, 
they were a little un apprehensive at first on how they were going to kill four hours at the Children's Museum. But four hours later, I was trying to push them out the door and onto the bus to get their kids out of the Children's Museum. So I could tell they were having a great time. Um, outside of that, uh, running into some of my employees that I had staffed while I was out on doing my job, it was really cool to see that they were actually having a great time, even in some pretty nasty weather. Yeah. Have things settled down for you now at work since the Super Bowl is over? A little bit. It'll probably settle down after this week. We just got our final payroll uh, for Super Bowl weekend. So once we crank through that and get everyone paid for this last weekend, uh, things should quiet down a little bit and we can move on to other projects. Very nice. Well, thank you for joining us today on The Butler Beat. I'm Shelby Sebring.